distancing requirements, Clovis Unified says there just isn't enough room in their schools to bring all students back at once. So they're planning to use a hybrid model where students will split their days learning both in person and online. The bottom line is that's what we're going to have to deal with and work with. And we want our parents to understand this distance, social distancing, which will limit the amount of students we can have in a classroom, is not going to go away for a while. As the district finalizes plans, parents and staff were asked to fill out surveys to share their opinions. About 55% of parents and about 53% of elementary teachers said they would choose the hybrid in-person model, while about 45% of parents and about 40% of teachers prefer to continue fully online. They also weighed in on the reopening date. And as you can see, a slight majority, 53.4% of parents would prefer a return date of January 19th, but we still have 46.6% wishing to return November 3rd. Of the elementary school teachers surveyed, 24% said they want the November start date, while 76% prefer to come back in January. After reviewing all the data, our plan is to return in an official reopening on January 19th, while slowly returning students between now and that date. Again, this waiver means that only elementary students can start coming back. And even if Fresno County moves back into the purple COVID tier, they could still keep those elementary schools open. Now, the district says they're also working with the health department to come up with a plan to bring older students back to campus. And they hope to do that at the start of the semester in January. Reporting live in Clovis, Shauna Kalafi, KC24, Local News That Matters.